x minus 2 all to the power of 3 is equals to negative x to the power of 3. How do we solve this cubic equation? Without further delay, let's begin. We have x minus 2 all to the power of 3. When we transfer this guy to the left side, it becomes plus x to the power of 3 is equals to 0. Now, recall that whenever we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, is the same thing as writing a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. If you expand this guy, you will get the left hand side back. So now we are going to apply this property to this left hand side. By comparison, you will observe that our value of a is x minus 2, our value of b is simply x. So a is equal to x minus 2. And b is equals to x. So let's plug the values of a and b into this right hand side. What is a? A is minus 2. x minus 2. Plus what is b? b is x. Times what is a? a is x minus 2. Let's use square bracket here. So you have x minus 2. All square. Minus a. Times b which is x minus 2 times b x plus b that is simply s squared so we close the bracket equals to 0 x plus x that is simply 2x minus 2 times x minus 2 all square when you expand it very well you will get s square minus 4x plus 4 minus x times x that is s square x times negative 2, we have negative 2x plus s square equals to 0. So let's proceed further. We have 2x minus 2 times s square minus 4x plus 4 minus times x square, that is negative s square, minus times negative 2x, that is plus 2x plus s square equals to 0. Now let's add the common terms 2x minus 2 times s square minus s square that cancels each other. We are left with s square minus 4, 4x plus 2x plus 4 equals to 0. This implies that we have 2x minus 2 times s square minus 4x plus 2x that is negative 2x plus 4 equals to 0. So this implies that 2x minus 2 is equals to 0 or s square minus 2x plus 4 is equals to 0. 2x, when this guy comes to the right, we have 2 or s square minus 2x plus 4 is equals to 0. Let's consider this guy first. When we divide both sides by 2, we have x to be equals to 1. This is one solution. You observe that this quadratic equation cannot be factorized over the set of real numbers. So let us use quadratic formula. So recall that s is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. This is the quadratic formula. So our a here is 1 and our b is negative 2 and c is equals to 4. So let's substitute these values here. So x is equals to minus into negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 or square minus 4. What is a is 1 and c is 4. So we have 4 because 4 times 1 that's 4. Over what is a is 1, 2 times 1 that is 2 here. So let us simplify further. A is equals to minus times minus 2 that is 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 all square that is 4 minus 4 times 4 that is 16 over 2 x is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 that is negative 10 negative 12 sorry 12 over 2 x is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 we can rewrite it as square root of 4 
times minus 3 over 2. So x is equals to 2 plus or minus. This guy also can be written as square root of 4 times square root of negative 3 over 2. x is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4. That is 2 times square root of negative 3 over 2. So this equals to, we can rewrite this as 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 root negative 3 over 2. So x is equals to 2 year 1 2 year 1 that is 1 plus or minus 2 year 1 2 year also is 1. So we have square root of negative 3. Well, we can do something about this guy. We can write square root of negative 3 as square root of negative 1 times square root of 3. We all know this guy is a complex number which is i. So we have i times square root of 3. So this implies that. Our value of x is equals to 1 plus or minus this guy in place of this i root 3. Therefore, our value of x is equals to 1 as the first solution or this guy x is equals to 1 plus i root 3 or x is equals to 1 minus i root 3. So these are all the possible solution for these cubic equations that's it